Hey guys, good to have you back. And today we are going to continue uh, with drawing 2D geometry. Today we're going to go over all the different ways to draw a line in SurfChem. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in this. Go up to Create, and click on Line, and it brings you to this. Now these, these are all the different ways to create a line in SurfChem. Okay, the, this first one here is pretty straightforward. Um, if you want a line tangent it's asking you to select the first tangent element or location you can create uh, lines that are tangent from locations and also tangent to elements okay so if I wanted to line tangent to both of these two circles all you do is simply click the first one click the second one and it draws you a line that's tangent to them now if you go up here to this other button right here you click it, it'll show you every other possibility that there is for what what you're trying to draw. So if you're ever trying to, to draw something and the first time it doesn't draw it like you thought it was going to or like you want it, you come up here and click other, chances are that you can find what you're looking for. Okay? So it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just pick the first one, pick the second one, then it draws it. Now if you want to draw a line tangent to let's to this circle let's say say you want it to be tangent to this circle but you want it to go to this midpoint well okay you click the first element which is a circle then you come over here to location then it brings you to this menu this is the same menu from the previous tutorial um, the creating points tutorial now you're you're gonna get become real familiar with this because you're gonna see this a lot this is a uh, a pretty pretty standard menu with a, with a lot of things with the different options it has okay so if you want to line tangent to this circle uh, but going to this midpoint then you just click midpoint come over here and click that line and it'll draw that for you all right now uh, if there's no other if you click other and there's no other possibility it'll it'll tell you that it'll say selected elements or locations cannot be connected no other solution is found okay so that just all that means is that that was the only there's no other solution no other way to draw a line that's tangent to that circle and going to this midpoint all right okay moving right along the next one is endpoints okay so I go to create line endpoints and here we are again with the same menu so if you want to draw uh, let's say you want to draw an X in the middle of this square if you click on endpoint the endpoint of that line to the endpoint of that line endpoint of that line to the endpoint of that line it's pretty simple all you do is choose the the endpoints that you want to connect and it will draw a line for you there alright the next one is string let me delete delete this real quick okay so if we click on string the first thing that's going to come up is is this dialog box and there's two different ways to use uh, string in surfcam the first way is to create line line elements now what that is is a set of separate line segments that are connected to each other but they're they're separate entities okay so we'll click OK now since I don't have any other geometry on my screen I'm gonna go to sketch uh, the sketch tab and I've got my snap grid on to make it just a little easier to get straight lines now you, you notice uh, if you look right beside the little pencil it's it's giving you the length of the line when you're in sketch mode okay so that's that's line uh, using line elements okay and if we go back to string and click on polyline click OK now what a polyline is is it's a set of connected line segments that form a single entity whereas the first option were uh, a set of, of line separate line segments 
so if I draw the same um, the same shape here click on D for done okay now to, to see the difference between these if you analyze this line so yeah it's telling you that it's just a line you come over here and all they're, they're all they're separate entities okay separate lines if you come over here and click this one see it highlights the entire the entire um, entire geometry because it's a polyline more or less a spline that's that's on the same plane okay so that's that's the difference between those two all right next we got horizontal uh, horizontal and vertical are, are pretty straightforward. Uh, create line horizontal. Then once again, you have this menu. Now you can. I'm gonna put it through zero zero zero. Okay. If you had other geometry, you could put it in the center or at the midpoint or at the quadrant of a circle or r relative to to a location. And the same thing with the uh, with vertical. It's the same thing, it's just vertical instead of horizontal. Alright, so vertical and horizontal pretty self-explanatory there. Okay, moving right along. The next option is both. So instead of drawing one at a time, you can click on both. And if I click keyboard 000, then it's going to put me a vertical and horizontal line at 000. And again, you got the same options here, uh, different things to choose from. So let's say I wanted to put, mm, change the color to black so we can, so it'll show up. If I want to put both a vertical and horizontal line in the midpoint or at the end point of that line, then we can do that. All right. Okay. The next one is angle. Okay, so we come up here and click on angle. All right. Now, info change lets you lets you uh, designate what angle you want and how how long you want it to be. So if I want a forty five degree angle and three inches long, I click OK. Then Surfcam is asking me select an element or location. All right. So since I don't have uh, any other geometry on the screen, I'm going to select a location. I'm going to say zero zero zero. Okay. So then it, it drew me a line 45 degrees, three inches long, starting at zero zero zero. Now, if you want to check uh, the length of it. Linear distance is three inches. Okay, now if you want it to go the other way, if you put a negative uh, angle in there at zero zero zero, then it's going to go down. Okay, so you can tell it negative or positive. So let's say I wanted to create a 30 degree line that's five inches long. Click OK. I click this line to choose that element. If I want to go through the midpoint, and I click midpoint, and that's 30 degrees, five inches long. All right, so that's that's how that works. Not too bad, right? Okay, cross product is the next one. We click cross product. So Surfcam is asking us to select the first line. So if I click there, then it's asking us to select the second line. I'll click there. Okay, now it's asking us to select the location. And I'm going to say zero, zero, zero. Okay. And it drew a line at zero, zero, zero. 
So what cross product does is it creates a line that is perpendicular to a plane, which is defined by the two lines that I that I selected. Okay, so when it when it first asks you to choose your lines, um, you're you're defining your plane. All right, so let's do that one more time. I'll delete this one. Okay, I'm going to click cross product, select the first line, select the second line, and then it's asking for a location. Let's tell it, this time we'll go X two inches. And there it is. And as you see, it's perpendicular to the plane that I defined by these two lines. All right, not really much to it. Okay, now moving right along, go to down to offset. All right, now offset is something that you'll you'll use uh, a lot, especially you know when you're when you're drawing your geometry, um, drawing your part before you start programming it. Offset is is a very very useful feature. It makes it really fast. So basically, if you want, um, let's say you wanted this exact same line a certain distance away, that's what offset does. So if we go create line offset, you go up here. Uh, if you to change your offset distance, click change offset. I'm going to leave it at a half inch. Okay. All you do is select the element that you want to offset. And then you select the side that you want it offset it to. So I clicked that line and clicked up here. Then it puts me at that exact same line a half inch away. And the same if I go the other way. Half inch away. Okay, now you can also um, offset an element a specific location away. It's asking me to select a location through which the offset line will pass. If I say zero 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 oh well, we gotta draw let's draw a line through zero 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 first. Okay. Now we we'll create line offset. If I want to offset let's say this line and you go up here to location Then you tell it endpoint, and it'll let you do that. So it's it's the same, the same we did the same thing we did the first time. Just you can it lets you choose a specific location uh, instead of a distance. All right. So if I go offset, click on location. Let's say this line through the midpoint of that line. All right. Now, lines are not the only thing um, that you can offset. You can also offset splines, um, arcs, pretty much, pretty much anything. If you click on chain, let's say we want to offset this this line here. going to chain it click done then it's asking me to select the offset offset side so if I want it down here I click down there and then this gives this is our offset spline uh, dialog box and these are the defaults uh, that I just I'll, I'll leave them always leave them at what they're set at um, the offset corner angle then you have a maximum deviation error from spline, which is by default set at a tenth, which is plenty close enough. Um, and then you can extend the outside corners using arcs or lines. I'll just click OK. And then it offsets that, our spline uh, a half inch down. 
let's say let's let's say you want to make it a little bit farther. Let's make it 1.5. Okay, go back to chain. You chain it. Click done, and then choose the side you want. Okay, and there's that. All right, now you can also uh, offset, make an offset tangent to a circle or to an arc. Okay, to do that, all you do is click on tangent, then you select the element you want to offset, let's say that line, tangent to this circle, and it depends on where you, uh, wh which side, just like up here, you have to select the side that you want to offset to. Well, it's the same way with tangent. If you want it on this side of the circle, you select that side. If you want it on that side, you would select that side. Okay. So if I go tangent, let's say this line down, down here. getting ahead of myself there. You go tangent, let's say that line, tangent to that circle. And it, it is actually tangent, it's just not long enough. See, when you, when you offset a line, it makes the exact same length. But we can extend that on out, and just to show you that, that it is uh, tangent. Alright, now offset is is uh, really really useful once you once we get more into to drawing you know and, and get get the basics out of the way and and get into to drawing more complex stuff um, you'll you'll come to, to find out that we'll be using offset quite a bit all right so that's pretty much it for offset so the next thing is rectangle okay so if we go to up here to rectangle, this is the box that comes up. So you have um, two different methods to create a rectangle. All right, the first one is select two corner points. We click OK. Now what what corner what that means is it wants to know the the two uh, corner points of the rectangle that are diagonal from each other. So you can either go in sketch mode and sketch it in or you could go to a keyboard and put in the location. Let's go over here to sketch. Okay, if I choose that point and that point, there's our rectangle. Okay, it's simple and fast and it's, it's a lot easier than drawing it line by line. Alright, now the other method is telling it the uh, corner length and width. So if you want a square let's say three inches by three inches and the fillet radius that's asking you how, how big do you want your uh, radius in the corners and let's say a quarter inch click OK then you have to tell SurfCam uh, where you want to put it let's say X four inches oh I clicked twice there So that's how that works. All right, and that is pretty much uh, that. That covers all the different options here for creating lines. Uh, I know we you know this learning this first this first little bit uh, can be can be boring at times, but once we get through it, we'll we'll get to some some more of the fun stuff. Uh, here very shortly okay so you know play play around with it and practice it and see what you can draw all right the next tutorial um, I will be covering how to draw arcs there's not not very much to it there's there's a lot of different uh, several different ways to go about it so that's what you can expect in the next tutorial and uh, practice uh, practice what you've learned and I will talk to you soon